Now here you can see uh, the two shrouds that of different sizes that I need for the mizzen shrouds. Now, one is the top one here is about, as I said before, 11 inches long. And the doubled one is around, it's all over here, uh, a little more than 16 inches long. Okay. And of course there are four of the 16s and two of the 11s. And I'll show how those are wrapped around the mast, how they're seized here in just a minute. First of all, I want to show you in this book here, I've shown it, there's another video where it's, I feature this book. This one is called Rigging Period Ship Models by Peterson. This is, his name is Lenarth Peterson. And here on page five, you can see it shows how on this ship, and because they're in evens, they are doubled. It goes around the mass up here, and it's seized here. And then the next one over here goes on, and then the next one, and then it, they alternate back and forth until you have the ones you need. They start on the port side. Oh, I'm sorry, the starboard side of the ship. And it goes to the, this side, and back and forth and back and forth. Um, I recommend this book, especially to those of you that are new to rigging. It's a very good book and it's very easy to use. Now this one, on the next page, it will show, let me get this here. Now these are the foremast, top mast shrouds, right? Well, I'll be doing the mizzen, but the principle is the same. And how they go around the mast up here is the same as this. All right, how they're tied off here is shown pretty good right here. This is what you have, a futok staff. These are called the futok shrouds that go down from there to there. There's another picture right here. You can see those. On this particular ship, there's only four. It's a frigate, a little smaller than the New York. New York has six on the four mast, six on the main mast, and five on the mizzen per side. Okay, next video will show basically how I do that. One of my YouTube channel subscribers pointed out that I hadn't made a video, or it seemed like I had made a video with regard to how the shrouds are wrapped around the mast and seized in their order and stuff like that. And since it's too late to do the lower shrouds on this ship, I've decided to do the mizzen top mast shrouds that go from here down to here. And this one is a good one because it has five Although there are only four holes here, no, there, are, there are actually five um, going to be going in here where you can see only four holes. I'll have to put another one in there. Uh, it is, means that there needs to be a single and two doubles that wrap around the mast from there to there. Now, basically, the first thing you're going to have to do is, of course, measure how long you need those those shrouds. And um, well, so what are you going to do is you'll take this measure from here to there and then add 
for where it wraps around the mast and where it comes up from the dead eye and it gets seized. So while this looks like about seven inches, it's going to be closer to 11 or 12, actually. And um, I'll show you how that is going to go on. Now, there are two of those. And um, the doubles are, of course, double that. And uh, I'll show you here in the next segment of the video what those look like. Now, the first one that goes on is a single. And uh, seizing it. It's just like any other seizing. Uh, for me, I start with a slip knot like this. So you can tighten that down here, like so. And now, just make a series of half hitches around here. Like so. Much easier than trying to wrap it like a traditional seizing. Right? Now, here we go. And you do it like this. So you can see six times or so, eight maybe at the most. Right? You do that. I've done it. I'll, I'll come back after I when I finish that off. Now here you can see I have a double wrapped around the mass there. And hold it together with a little alligator clip. And they're even down here. Right? So when you put these together up here and they fall down, you seize it right there, and then it'll fall down to here, and the dead eyes will go on right about here. I'll sh you'll see that later on in a different video, where, uh, and uh, as opposed to just seizing around the mast, I'll show you seizing the dead eyes for the tops. All right, and when this one is done, I'll take a short video of that one, and of course, there'll be one on the other side and one on this side, so forth until they're all on. That should pretty much tell you and show you how to seize the shrouds around the mast. I hope this works out for you. Good luck. Okay, there it is. It's seized around the end. You basically take a little bit of super glue right here and just put a drop on there, right. right, so just like that. I use an accelerant and I spray it on there to make it dry faster and harder. Now I'll clip all the, the long pieces off show you what it looks like and it's in place now you can see it's in place i actually i tied it on this side but i swung it around and put it on this side so it's it's, it's one of the alternating ones it goes over there we one just like this on this side over here and then one more over here and one more over here